amazing is how much they all look like each other. I brought the new Nissan Kicks this week, and standing back from it, I can't hardly tell the difference between it and the new Volvo XC40. However, here's the best start. part. It starts at $17,990. This one here, $22,000. And that includes things like lane departure warnings, blind spot warning indicators, pretty good air conditioning system. Now, this really takes the place of the Juke. And the Juke was, in my opinion, a little bit quieter and a lot more fun to drive because it had a little turbocharged engine. Now we've got a 1.6 liter, 126 horsepower engine, which is like good enough to get up and going. The vehicle is quiet under most conditions except for let's say bad highways out there but again i point this out over and over even in the inexpensive cars today and this one is the interior doesn't look cheap and just full of plastic but doing much nicer jobs with it seats are relatively comfortable for some they'll probably be great now here's the big difference between the old nissan juke and the new kicks because it has a more conventional design instead of tapering off you have a lot more space in the back, including the headroom. So, in the back, <laughs> you know, all crossovers look the same if you open the back hatch up and look forward. But there you go. Lots of trunk space, to no cover, lip, so things don't roll out when you open the back. So, I'd love to say that I really fell in love with this, and the best I would rate it is, it's, it's an okay vehicle. I like the Nissan Rogue Sport a whole lot better. It's a few bucks more, but it's really world class. Overall, the Juke was more fun to drive, but for parents looking for crossovers for their kids, this might be the better buy. Again, 22,000 has all the safety features on it. And better than that, the engine's powerful enough to get on the freeway, not so powerful they can get in trouble. So it'll be a better fill at silver for Nissan because the design's better. But the juke was fun. With that, y'all have a good weekend.